Hello everyone and welcome to another video from singleboard.com. Today we are using this simple screen recorder to show installing the program Vim which is View Your Mind. So I'll minimize the simple screen recorder, go and click on the Raspberry, go down to Preferences, click on Add Remove Software. In the search box you're going to type VYM and hit enter. This will bring up the software package for View Your Mind. When it comes up, you're going to click the checkbox and then click OK. Once you click OK, the Raspberry Pi is going to ask you for your password. Put your password in. Click on OK and it's going to install your software. Now what is Vim? Vim is a mind mapping program. It's used to help you organize your thoughts. Very simply, you take an idea or a project that you have in your mind and you want to get it down on paper, you can wind up helping using this program to get it all flushed out for you. You can then take that and share it with your friends, people on the internet, uh, whatever you want to do to get it out there so more people can work on this program. It really helps you visualize it. So once it's installed, you can just X out of the box Go click up on your Raspberry, go to Office, and you'll see that Vim is installed. View your mind. Go ahead and click on that, and it'll launch the program. Once the program is launched, we can then work on starting the program. You can double click on New Map, change it to the title of what you want. In this case, we'll pick Single Board, and that'll be the focus of this mind map. Everything will branch out from there, and you can see how you can take an idea like I did for this website and YouTube channel into its larger size based on what I float out on here. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's start out and branch this out. First thing we do is click on this icon here, add a branch as a child. And what's one of the things that I use to get ideas and concepts for the single board channel is other YouTube channels. So let's just put that down. What YouTube channels do I like? Well, we can add more branches to that. Click on Add a Branch as a Child, and one of the first ones that I'll put down is Unexplained Maker. I get a lot of ideas and love talking to him on getting some information about projects. Another channel I watch is Nova Spirit Tech. I look forward to each one of his videos that comes out. He covers all kinds of single board computers like I do, along with other programs and ideas and things you can do with them. So that's a great channel there. Don does a lot of good work. We'll add another one here that I like watching. Mick Mick. Mr. Wiffy himself. Mick Mick has awesome information on there each and every week um, that I just get most of the information from on him that I can go and start to research other things. And then there's another channel that I love watching which is Explaining Computers. Correct my typing there. And that channel uh, also gives me a lot of good information and insight on what's going on with the YouTube channels I like. So there's just a sample of some of them. You can see I put them down in no actual order, but let's say I did want to add an order to them. I want to get them alphabetized. You can see right now they're not from A to Z. When you got a little button up here I can click on, now they're all alphabetized. So it keeps it all nice and neat in my mind so I can take a look at things if I want to add more, change the information around. I can actually grab one of them if I wanted to put an explaining maker back on top. I could, or move them all around any way I want to, add it as a another area of it. There's just a million things I can do with the software that's there. So we'll leave that as it is at the moment. Go back to single board. So that's just the YouTube channels. What about software? You hear me talk about software a lot. So let's add another branch as a child there. And we'll put down software I like. Well, some of the software that I like so far that I use that you know is the Simple Screen Recorder, which I'm using to actually record this. So I'll put that there.
And I can also add what I did last week for a video, which is good for doing podcasts and everything, which was Audacity. And how about the program I'm showing you right now? Vim, for one. We can add Vim to this. View your mind. And when I'm in the background, which I'm not doing in the videos right now, I can also run uh, VLC, which is another program I like a lot. Play a lot of MP3s and other things through uh, VLC here. VLC, hit enter. And then I can do the same thing like I did before, alphabetize, get everything all set in, in order so I can keep it in my mind. So what else can I add to this mind map that adds to the, the power of this channel? Well, there's hardware that I like. Everybody knows that I do different types of hardware on here. And what have I done for projects so far? Well, I've done the uh, Raspberry Pi Zero. And currently, I'm now working on, as a, whoops, didn't want to do that. If you add something that you don't want, and you make a mistake, you can hit the undo button. So we'll undo that, and we'll go back down here, hit enter. Whoops, got to put single board back in there now. Hit enter too soon. We'll go back down here to Raspberry Pi 0, and I can wind up... Uh, actually changing that to hardware I like and then off from that I will add the different things we see here the Raspberry Pi Zero and then I will also add uh, what I'm using now is the 3B plus and you can see I could make a whole list of different Raspberry Pis there in the future weeks I will be adding Odroid to that list Odroid will be in there along with uh, a couple others and then what about what I'm doing to brand myself how am I making this work better uh, for me to try and get out to you guys so you guys know I exist. Well, we'll make another branch here, and this will be social media. And off from social media, I can wind up adding a couple of branches, uh, this one here being YouTube. But I also, as some of you know, have a website for it. www.singleboard.com and I also have uh, Facebook. So I have another branch on there. Now, you can start to see that this mind map is starting to get a little crowded. You can actually grab any time a branch and move it around, resize it, do what you need to do. If it starts to go off from the screen, you can actually use function keys, hold down your control, use your mouse scroll to zoom in and zoom out on a certain portion of the map if you wish to and align and change the map the way you want to make it work better for you so you can have different things in different areas you're not stuck to any one way of doing it if you want to customize it further you can actually start to use some of the other icons and things that are on here let's go back to uh, software I like here audacity it's a pretty good program so let's give that a thumbs up Simple screen recorder, well, I'm going to be using that every single time. So that's just part of my daily routine that's going to be on here for this channel. VLC, well, VLC is something that I will use in the background all the time. It makes me happy when I'm thinking and doing work, so we'll add a smiley face on there. And the Vim software that's here, well, that's just amazing. So we'll have to sit there and say, hmm, that's very informational for what I'm doing with you. I can add that. Now, let's say that I'm doing work on the YouTube channels. Now, let's say social media. What are my projects and tasks for today with social media or how I want to do this? There's actual other buttons up on here where you can assign tasks or toggle tasks. So I'm going to add a task to my social media here and then I can actually click on the tasks and change it to different things that I want to do with that or assign different tasks to different things that are on my list with different states. So there's a lot you can wind up doing there. Um, if there's a branch or something that I want to change or rotate or move in a different way, I can, as again, drag it this way. Or I can take the whole map and rotate it if I need to, to try and get an idea of how I want things to go. 
So you're starting to see an idea of just the beginning limitations or beginning of what you can do with this program and move it all around. So it gives you an idea. You can take an idea, flush it out, and make it work for you. Now what can you do with it when you're done? You can make this as large or as simple as you want, make it very complex. But if you want to share it with others, you can click up here on your map and you can export it. You can export it as a PDF file, an image, if you want to share it with other people, a bookmark, a spreadsheet, whatever you want to do. I like the images a lot, so I can wind up clicking on images and just save them to a folder. And let's just say I make this a single board. I'll just call it the single board map. And I'll save this to my actual pictures folder. So we'll put it in there. Save the map in there and say save. So now we know where it's at in there. So I can close right out of the program. I'll just discard these changes for now as I'm saving it for you guys. And we'll go up here to the actual pictures folder that I have. And you will see that there is the single board map. If I click on that, it'll open up and you can actually see the image that's there. And I can do whatever I want to do with that image. Put it into an email, move it around to somewhere else on my system. But at least it gives me a chance to take the ideas I have and put them in a format that I can save later, share with others, and do what I need to do. I can even print them out if I want to. Um, the, the options are just out there. There's, there's so much you can do with this. So hopefully this gives you a good beginning of what you can do with, uh, with the View Your Mind program. There's a lot of other YouTube videos out there that will show you in greater detail how to use it. But I just wanted to do it today to give you an idea of how things are going. So as always, if you like what you saw, please click subscribe. Then click on the bell for future notifications as I put out more videos. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comments section below this video. And I'll talk to you again real soon. Take care, guys.